So I'm back. Uh, took a month off from doing pretty much all social media or anything because I've been home just kind of relaxing, uh, getting ready for the next steps of the next trip. So this vloggage is going to be a little bit discombobulated. I'm going to run you through, do a little narration, try and keep it short, just keep you up to date. And I'm going to start vlogging again mañana. So first things first today. So trip update. Uh, the news of what I'm doing with the rest of my life slash the next four to six months. So yes, I am continuing to travel. Where am I going? Well, in May, I'm gonna to go to Europe. I'm gonna circle around Europe, and then I am going to hopefully go towards the, oh God, someone's getting pulled over. You see him? It's a truck. Uh, so yeah, Europe, Central Asia, Pakistan, India, and then hopefully end up in Nepal. Maybe head towards Australia, I don't know. There's no real set schedule. The thing that I was missing on the trip before was one thing. It wasn't any equipment, I had the right bike, had all the time, but I was missing just one thing. And I'm gonna take this thing with me on this next trip. Can anyone guess what it is? That's right. Say hi, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Meredith's coming with me. And uh, she's gonna come with me, she's gonna ride around Europe, she's gonna come for as long as she wants. And it's an exciting thing that we're doing at this moment, which is, wait for it, wait for it. What are we doing, Meredith? Picking up my motorbike. What kind of motorbicycle did you get? cb 500 That's right. And what are we gonna do to it? Put the rally raid kit on. Nice! Meredith, where are you? Honda. This is like a replay of last time, right? What are we doing here? Picking up my motorbike. Oh, it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen? All right. Meredith, what does the sign say? Sold. To who? Me. Almost flat footed. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, gotta start it. You gotta start it for the first time. All right then, so after uh, we got Meredith's motorcycle, I had to go to LA for some business, and Honda kindly invited me over to the mothership, as they call it. Check it out. Okay, welcome to Los Angeles. We're in Los Angeles. I came down here with Meredith. You might ask why I have my helmet on. I'm here in lovely Palos Verdes, California. And Honda said I could take any bike out I want, or any bikes out I want. So what did I take out? That's a gold wing. <laughs> it's got basically a computer screen. It doesn't have a key, really. But check this thing out. Fancy. Satellite radio? So let's go take this thing for a spin. So just got back here to Honda, the mothership. Finished on the uh, Goldwing. Fancy bike, 1800 cc's. I didn't break the law, I didn't go too fast or anything, but wow, what an incredible bike. You could take that bike anywhere in the world. Goldwing, it's awesome. Honda said I could use any bike I want, so I took the biggest and the smallest. Grom, 125 or something, sack. Hey, Meredith. Hey, Billy, what are you riding? Grom, swapped it for the Africa Twin, straight up. Still wanna to go to Aspen? Super secret warehouse here. 
over here is where they work on all the Honda bikes. So I'm whispering because it's like a library in here. There's science, mad science happening in here. But uh, this is the shop. Look at this shop, how well lit it is. Oh, so nice. They have every tool in the world here. And they have, oh, they have an Africa Twin. They have another Africa Twin. Oh, so good. Look at all these. Oh, that's sick. There's a mechanic back there. You have to be quiet or he'll scatter. These guys are called the Untouchables. These are the guys you want working on your bike. They, uh, they, they work on only Honda-owned bikes. There's an elusive one. Hold on. Total coolness around here. There's anything you could want. There's all different kinds of bikes. Hey, Meredith, is there a CB500X here? Yeah, there is a the... Meredith is a proud owner of a... Is that one? No. That is a 700. Oh, well, we have one, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a... Actually, I think it's a 19. Nice. Yeah, this is good. All right, well, thanks, Honda, for letting me ride the, the biggest and the smallest. And I, I was joking, it's not the CRF 1800L New Africa Twin. That's actually a Goldwing. But whatever, I'm going to put knobbies on it, take it around the world. Meredith, did you have fun? Had a blast. Thank you, Honda. All right, so after I got done with Honda and taking care of some business in LA, I got a call from one Michael Johan from Switzerland. Test ein Schnei. Say it in German. Test ein, zwei, drei. Test, test, test ein, zwei, drei. Test. Uh, he came out for an ex unexpected couple of weeks, and what it is the right thing to do? Jump on the Africa Twin and the old KLR. KLR sitting right here. Yeah. Uh, and head out to Monument Valley. It's only 1,500 miles uh, one way. Let's do it. Beautiful, amazing. Jacob's, oh, there it is. Jacob's Lake Inn. So I've been in Jacob's Lake. This is in Arizona on the north side of the Grand Canyon. And I have a special guest appearance. If you can see him in the background, who is that? Is that a Johan? That's, yeah, it's a Johan. Do you all remember Michael Johan from Germany? Yeah. Michael came out for a quick visit and he's on the KLR. And we're riding, we've already done a thousand miles. We're gonna head to the Grand Canyon and then uh, see, what else is, uh, see what else is in store. So we already did Vegas, we went through Death Valley. We're gonna cause some more trouble. Say hello, hello, Michael. Hello, hello, William. <laughs> Let's have some fun. So here in uh, Grand Canyon, we parked the motor bicycles over at a parking lot and we're going to the Bill Hall Trail. Bill Hall, not Eric Hall, but Bill Hall Trail. But the problem is, is that the crazy German <laughs> wants to hike the whole trail. Yeah, Michael, we won't, I, I don't know if you've seen me, I have a belly. <laughs> yeah. Hiking. 8.4 miles. That's yeah, too yeah, it's too much. I got motorcycle boots on. I'd yeah. complain the whole way. It wouldn't be fun. So we're gonna hike down here and see if we can see something special. Stand by. So we made it. So we made it. It's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's the Grand Canyon. We hiked the uh, most dangerous part of the Rim Trail for at least it was a kilometer. No more. <laughs> Maybe two kilometers. Maybe two kilometers. It was dangerous. There's bears up here. Check this view out, though. <laughs> Johan. Hmm? Good what? morning. Good morning, what's up? It's time to get up. Oh. 
We're at the Death Valley. I mean, at the Grand Canyon. Ah, you're right. You have to see the Grand Canyon in the morning. Yeah. You slept good. Oh yeah. Oh, you slept good. Yeah. Hey, will you will you tear down my tent for me and put my sleeping bag and sleeping pad away? Yeah, sure. See, I told you he's the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to do that. Well, maybe I would. What are you doing? Michael Johan, one of the nicest guys in the world. Oh my God, look, that's the Grand Canyon in the background. Oh. This is our campsite. That's the bike. And that's the Grand Canyon. No big deal. So I was filming Michael going down this beautiful road with the drone, see the nice rocks over there? And then I crashed it into that tree. Oh man. I crashed it, it's up, it's like stuck in the tree. I don't know, I don't see where it is. I get, oh, I see it. Oh man, it's like out on a branch too. Can you see it? Why does my drone always get stuck in trees? This could be interesting. Got the drone. So on the way home, we decided to stop at the Sequoia National Forest, see some big trees, preferably not ones that have fallen. But they just opened the road today, so we're the first people on the road, and you can even see these trails, the first per person on this trail, because the, there's still snow on it. It hasn't snowed in a while. There's Miguel back there. Beautiful. So we're getting closer to caught up. Um, when we got home, Meredith's rally raid stuff came in for her bike, which we haven't installed yet to date. Um, I changed the suspension on my bike. I put new springs from Cogent Dynamics on the front forks and a new spring in the rear. Um, I, it did the whole suspension rob myself. I didn't film it. It was slow, it was ugly. I wouldn't be proud of it and I wouldn't want anyone to take any uh, advice from me on how to do it. But um, I'll do a review on that. It's, it's a really nice upgrade and it's a very good price. I'll put the link below. Um, so the next thing that happened is my friend from Ecuador, if you remember him, Pedro, who I stayed with and uh, cleaned up my place in Cuenca. Him and another Ecuadorian guy named Juan um, stopped by. We went on a quick ride and then that's it. That was just a couple days ago. So here we're up to date. Um, stay tuned for more vloggage tomorrow. I'm leaving on an exciting trip. If you like the videos I produce, um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave comments and questions. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Uh, back here at the lab in Santa Cruz, you can see all the bikes behind me. And yesterday I had a visitor from Ecuador. If you remember Pedro, 
from Ecuador. He's right here. Say hi, Pedro. Hi. <laughs> he stopped by with Juan. Juan. Uh, also from Ecuador, and they're on a trip up through to Alaska. Now Pedro bought his bike here in California, but uh, here, here's his bike. It's a Super Tenere 2013? Yeah. 2013. 1200 or 1100? 1200. Someone made fun of me because I didn't know what it was. But pretty sick. And then he also met up with Juan, who's been traveling. He's done the slowest trip from Ecuador to California <laughs> ever recorded by man. Eight months. He's on a BMW. It's really cool to see this by the uh, by the by the lab laboratory. That's an Ecuadorian license plate here in Santa Cruz. And Juan, what do you do for what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a magician. Hello, hello. Yes. Show me some tricks. All right, let's do something. First, I want to show you something cool with these two coins. Oh God. Yes. Why? Because I realize the coins from different parts of the uh, world will do something different. Uh -huh. uh, like uh, your coin from the States will just fall down, right? Uh -huh. Nothing happens. Uh, the one from China is an old one. If we see the map, we are here, the Chinese people are on the other side. So they're basically upside down. Uh -huh. So a Chinese coal coin will fall down, but uh -huh. because they're upside down, it will also fall up. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, for real. It falls down, and when I want, don't worry. That's just a camera up. trick. It is a camera <laughs> trick. Is it? <laughs> oh, this is actually a camera trick. Let me show you something with this one. I don't know if the uh, the camera can see this. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, this is a camera trick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that is a camera Let's trick. Do that again. Do it again. <laughs> Let me do something. You see, this is funny. If I take it, you get it. Will just disappear. I will come back here. That's <laughs> always happened with magic. <laughs> magic is freaky. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I make my money <laughs> while traveling. Can you make Pedro disappear? Oh, uh, magic, not miracles. <laughs> <laughs> always, say always say that. Cool. So you guys are headed up to San Francisco today? Yeah. Yeah. In this cold weather, who will believe that in California, I have the coldest weather on my trip? It's all a lie. Yeah, it's all a lie. Yeah, it's all a lie. <laughs> 